Hello, hello, hello. It's Flo Ninja Jody back again and I'm on a roll today. It's my second video. I'm probably going to only publish it tomorrow, but still, <laughs> we're here today. So, uh, yes, what am I going to say? I want to talk about the shadow, shadow self. Oh God, not the shadow self, Jody, please. Oh my God. Um, but yes, the shadow self is really important. It's a massive understanding for me. It's been a massive realization. And it's been an ongoing journey as well. Another one of Jody's ongoing journeys. <laughs> um, but yes, it, it's crucial, critical, uh, pivotal, really, in understanding who we are and what we're doing here and how to let go of the rubbish and the crap and be the best version of ourselves. Heal, basically. Heal. Live optimistically live optimally live our true selves the shadow self what is it what is it okay right when you're born you are born as a delicious gorgeous open sensitive innocent baby and hopefully you have a decent, nice birth, but often it's not the case. And I'm a trained rebirther and breath worker, and I've looked into this and I've healed birth trauma and I know what can happen and it can be a very painful experience. However, <laughs> you come in, you're born, you get brought up, you learn, you, you grow as a toddler, as an infant and as a baby and then soon a child and uh, you know you learn the language of your guardians your parents your culture and you get imprinted by the parents or the guardians that you have relationships with who are your carers and their unresolved emotional conflicts get imprinted onto you through their behavior through their language through their beliefs through who they are and how they interact with you and engage with you. You model that. You That's all you know, right? So you just copy and model. That's what a baby does. That's what a child does. It doesn't know anything else. Not unless it has past life memories, which is very, very, very rare. Although a lot of people do actually have them, but then they forget uh, when they're about five. Uh, as I found out with my nephew, who I asked, who were you before your, who were you in your life before this one? I sprung the question to him when he was four years old and unsuspecting and no one else was around. And he told me a whole story about how he was X, Y, Z. And it blew my head away um, because there's no way he could have made it up. Just no way. You can also see how if someone's inventing something and making it up by where the eyes are pointing and all that kind of stuff. That's NLP and kinesiology and touch for health stuff. But I won't get into that right now. Uh, tangent, I know. But uh, back to what we're talking about. Yes, the shadow. So uh, you, you just don't know anything else. So you just sort of accept and model and absorb and sponge. You're a sponge, you know. And uh, what happens is that you get hurt, obviously, because things don't work out how you want them to. Um, you can be treated in certain ways that are abusive or uncaring or, you know, not intentionally necessarily at all. Uh, I mean, you know, my mother loves me very much and always has done. And so is my father, but they can't help themselves, right? Because they couldn't. And, and we can't help themselves because we're living out the belief systems that we've um, imbibed and absorbed when we were children as adults and so they did too and you know how they were treated and their traumas and pains and past and everything come out and you know the subconscious we you know uh, apparently the scientists or the the psychologists are saying that you know, 95 percent of our behaviors are based on the subconscious and that's basically what's ruling our lives which is i find absolutely fascinating and a massive key as well because that subconscious is what the shadow self is uh, how I interpret it and uh, how I want to talk about it in this video. So subconscious, shadow self is all of that conditioning. It's uh, everything that we've imbibed and that um, the pain and the traumas and the beliefs that have been created and the behaviours around that. And that's what we carry around. And so when you hear 
what the shadow self is, when you hear about what that is, then you know that, okay, that's what it is. It's my subconscious, it's my wounds, it's my hurts. It's all this that I'm carrying in my baggage, in my cells, in my muscles, in my breath, in constrictions and all the um, contractions and uh, uh, muscle tensions we have are often and always related to those traumas and uh, belief systems and emotional because we are one connected body mind and that for me is a truth um, there's a load of research now about that and how it's all connected and the cells know what the mind is thinking and all that through the neuropeptides and the, elect um, the electron pathways in the um, neural pathways and all of that uh, so it's fascinating and how we can also rewire our brains and regrow our um, nerves. Um, it's called neuroplasticity and I'll do that another video I'll do that but not, not right now because we're just talking about the shadow self. Uh, and this shadow self is often uh, in myths and legends as well. It comes as uh, and in dreams it comes as the monsters and the baddies um, which is what we have to overcome. We have to overcome our shadow self and our limiting beliefs and our, our patterns and our trauma which are holding us back and um, you know, they're, they're, they're running our lives without us realizing it. And I'm still in the process of understanding that and letting go of the shadow self-belief systems and patterns and working through my trauma, which I've been doing since I was about 18 years old, I think, when I did my first therapy group. Uh, I even did some therapy before that when I was 15, 16. Uh, it's an unraveling story and uh, a wonderful journey as well. It does need courage. It does take courage. It does take support. I recommend you, if you feel <laughs> like you want to do stuff with your shadow and let it go and, and, and heal your trauma and self heal, then I recommend a therapist, counselor. I recommend group therapy. I recommend healing work, doing as much as you can. I recommend working on yourself every day. I recommend working with your breath. I rec recommend working with your belief systems, with your thoughts. I recommend meditation. I recommend all the self work you can do because the more you do, the less the shadow self will affect you because the more you will let go of that past trauma and those beliefs and that pain that's holding you back, those recurring thought patterns that turn into beliefs that basically rule you through your subconscious um, your and the patterning that you have that was why you do the same stuff all the time that gets you into trouble, that messes things up, that has you know gives you your your money issues your your relationship issues your um uh, whatever else issues you might have <laughs> they're the ones i can think of right now your 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 love issues your family issues your your career issues your you know whatever it is uh your judgments that you have against other people about, about yourself your depression your anxiety um all that stuff so that's the shadow self. It's the darkness that's hiding behind your conscious mind and thoughts, which is feeding them all the time. That's what it's doing. It's feeding them. And uh, man, it's, it's, it, it's scary in some ways about how powerful it is and how it does control us behind the scenes. And this is what I'm understanding and learning. I really want to share and talk about this because it's, uh, again, it's like this uh, seemingly unending process of, of discovery and, and uh, releasing and, and letting go and acknowledging and forgiving the people that we need to forgive and stepping up and being vulnerable and loving and, 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 and living from our heart, living from our truth, not from the limiting hurts and the limiting belief systems and and the trauma but stepping up and stepping out and going okay I no longer let the past um, condition my future I am ready to change I'm ready to to, to look at myself and to work through this stuff um, and be you know be truly successful in life really with everything we want to do successful in relationships successful in in career and and earning and being and just being a better version of ourselves um shadow self that's at least for this video i feel that's enough um there's tons more we can do with the shadow self talk about more and share um but yeah it feels like that's that's the download i wanted to give and share so uh i hope you got a lot out of this video i'd love to know your thoughts about shadow self please comment in the 
comments below. It's really important. I would love to know. I want this to be engaging and interactive. I want to know your thoughts. I know how you felt about what I've just talked about in the video, what your story's been. Um, yeah, and what you're working with right now. Uh, and uh, yes, please like the video. If you've got any value out of this video, please like it. Um, please share and please subscribe. Please click the notification bell or tap the notification bell so you can get my video notifications when they come in and be part of this ongoing story and uh, engagement and uh, in this community I'm basically wanting to create here. So yes, I'd love to hear more about you and what you do. Check the description box as well for useful links. Uh, I've got my uh, ebook in there, which you can download for free. And there's a link to my video course about how to connect to your purpose. So please have a look, have an amazing day and speak to you soon. Peace.